we continued our drive north along the stunning Highway 19 to our next stop, the coastal town of Port Alice. The small community of Port Alice sprang up as the Wayland Pulp Mill opened in 1918 and soon was producing 75 tons of lumber products per day. In the early 20s, the town started to develop with hotels, a floating hospital, a community center, and even a golf course, which is still in use today. The pulp mill was shut down in 2015, and Port Alice is now largely a tourist-driven economy with kayak tours, fishing, camping, and is also the gateway to the rugged northwest coast of Vancouver Island, including Side Bay. After exploring the town a bit, we stopped by the local legion for a beer before we set off looking for camp. Before we knew it, a shameful game of darts started with neither one of us doing much winning. <laughs> Welcome to the Loser Club. <laughs> so we just had the most fun in this legion right here. We had a, a, a beer, we played some darts. We both suck. We're terrible at darts. It was a lot of fun though. It's something we'd not normally do because we got the kids with us and stuff. Yeah. And we're just trying to do more stuff like that, stuff that kind of pushes out of our normal zone. But now we're going to find some camp. Um, I think there's plenty of places to camp outside of Port Alice here. So we're just going to drive out of town, and I think that road turns to gravel and see what we can find. After we passed the apocalyptic, decommissioned pulp mill, the rugged landscape took over and we were transported into a dream world where the towering mountains met the colorful estuary. We were exactly where we were supposed to be and we were quickly rewarded with an unforgettable camp. There's nothing, nothing out here but abandoned industrial crap, and we randomly pull it past this, and there's amazing. This is what she's talking about. That's insane. I know it's super loud, but come on, this is an epic campsite. We drove maybe. 15 or 20 minutes outside of Port Alice and we stumbled upon this. What do you say? So here's our view of camp. Nancy's sitting on the bench to watch the waterfall. Campfire pit. And Westy right there. Doesn't get much better than that.
We couldn't get enough of this waterfall. We sat there captivated by the rushing water, the thunderous sound, and the calm pool below. I hope this series of clips can express the beauty and power this place has. If not, I guess this is just for Nancy and I to remember it by. You okay? That was insane. We didn't have the cameras. We of course zero not. Proof. Took a quick little walk. It's a little. And what? And what did you see? A bear. A black bear. A pretty big black bear. Yeah. Crossing the road Crossing about. The road. I don't know, 200 yards down the road in front of us. Yeah. Maybe not even 200 yards. Yeah, Nathan had the bear spray, but not that we needed it. But he did not like our voices. We yelled. We yelled. We're like, hey bear. Hold on. Maybe we'll show you what happened. And he went into the side and we ran so much freaking fast back to the man. He's going to hang out in here. Not that bad considering it's dehydrated hash brown. Yes. Gravy I made from scratch powder. So we just had to add water. I concocted that myself. And two vegan sausage patties. It's pretty good. The next morning was spent exploring the area and wishing we had more time to spend in this unforgettable place. This is definitely the area we'll be coming back to in the future, next time though, without deadlines and ferry schedules. Excited for this? Super Second excited. shower of the trip. And it only cost one loony. Yeah. Eight minutes for a loony. Woo -hoo! All right, enjoy. Thank you. We both took showers and did our first load of laundry on the trip while we took advantage of the sun to dry out the tent and awning on the Westie. We're out here in the bay. A kayak trip. Nancy's super uncomfortable again, of course, because it's a little, a little blustery and choppy here now that we got out here. <laughs> it was pretty calm earlier, but now it is a little choppy. Makes it more fun. It'll be fun coming back against the wind and the waves and the tide. I'm letting Nancy do all the paddling. I'm just sitting back. Wow. I got to steer with my feet here. Left. It's hard work back here. I think your island, Nancy. What shall I name it? It's Baldwin Island. Baldwin Island. It's next to Baldwin Falls. Yes, it is next to Baldwin Falls. Yeah, That's we cool. camped way out there last night. So Nancy won't let us go out in the open water much. No. Kind of want to go out there. I like the choppiness. We're like this. Or oh. see. I don't like. It. It's way cooler out there, though. What death? Yes. How's your weather holding up? Um, it's raining. It's now raining. Look at that cloud up there. We found camp just north of Port Alice as we watched the approaching storm from the comfort of our home on wheels. So we're here in Port Hardy. And as you can hear, it's raining out a little bit. Yeah, it's a little loud. 
we've kind of avoided the rain for a few days, which has been nice, but I think it's finally caught us up again. So, yeah. We've just kind of been hanging around town a bit today, hanging at the library, using the Wi Fi. Um, Got some supplies. Yeah, I'm just kind of running errands, getting ready for the ferry tomorrow. Yeah. We got to get on the ferry at 7 30 in the morning, which means we got to be there at 6. So we're kind of parked in this little nature trail area, maybe five minutes from the ferry terminal. Yeah. Just for the night, because we got to get up early. So we're excited for the ferry. Yep. Uh, nervous for the ferry. A little nervous. I hope it's not choppy like the last one. Yeah, it's a 10 hour ride, so it's going to be a long one. So I hope we have enough stuff to do. Yeah. Sweetheart, you and your sister excel in different ways. She's got her violin and you've got... Doing stuff bad. <laughs> <laughs> Doing stuff Poor bad. little girl. Oh, wait. Uh... Good morning. Good morning. We're at the ferry terminal. We had to get up at 5 a.m., which was easier for some of us than others. But she did it. We're here. We're in line. I think we start loading in an hour or so, half an hour maybe. We're excited and nervous. Um, yeah, the boat does not look big enough for all of us. Yeah. But so far this morning, the weather's calm. It's not raining, which is a good start. Oh, yeah. Um, so soon we'll board and we'll be off to Bella Coola for part two of our adventure. Excited. Super excited. The ferry ride from Port Hardy to Bella Coola is a 10-hour inside passage adventure that takes us up to the remote village of Bella Coola on the west coast of British Columbia. The landscape and wildlife along this route is out of this world and could be better described as a point-to-point -point sightseeing cruise than a ferry ride. We settled in for the long journey north, spending much of our time on the deck, admiring the scenery as we had feared we'd miss something amazing if we went inside. And then there were dolphins. Hundreds of dolphins joyfully playing in the bow wake, vigorously swimming, jumping, and diving alongside the ship. This is something we were hoping we could see on the trip, and we were overjoyed with the experience. As we got closer to Bella Coola, the surrounding mountains continued to push inwards, narrowing the passage and increasing the intensity of the views. Too soon, we were arriving at the dock in Bella Coola and were a bit sad the ferry ride was over, but excited to explore a new part of Canada.
Bellacoola is a remote coastal village and is known as a gateway to the Great Bear Rainforest and home to the Newhulk peoples, dating back over 10,000 years. The area is rich in culture, history, and of course, out of this world landscapes. If this place isn't on your list, do yourself a favor and add it now. Here's our first night's camp in Bella Coola. It's, uh, if you look around, it's really pretty. We've got a river right there. We just got off the ferry and we're, yeah, hey, there you are. Somebody just drove by a local. and said it's very berry here. So. And it doesn't mean like the fruit. No. The bears so, come down here a lot. We'll be so. staying in the van tonight. We spent the rest of the evening down by the creek, watching for bears, enjoying a beer or two, and reflecting on the incredible experience we had on the ferry. Tomorrow, we head out into the wild, rugged mountains of Bella Coola and camp at our most remote location to date. But that will need to wait for the next episode. Coming up in part three.